Hello everybody, it's I, the Willowichi Big Mac, and welcome to a brand new Let's Play. Uh, I've, as you guys may see here, uh, it's, it, well, it's very obvious we're doing Splatoon. Uh, so yeah, so, as of right now, it's like October 6th, uh, today that the uh, Mario movie uh, trailer gets revealed. I'll probably have to check that out later, but uh, yeah. So, uh, Splatoon 3 came out recently, and it is the first time I've hopped back into, into the Splatoon uh, series since the first game. Because the first game, as you may see here, is the main reason why I one one of three main reasons one of three reasons why I bought Wii U. It was Splatoon, Mario Kart 8, and Smash for Wii U. Now, with that being said, uh, we're going to be doing this game story mode, obviously, because I mean, like surprisingly, surprisingly, this game's online multiplayer, so it works. Uh, so, as for a boy or a girl, uh, canonically speaking, the uh, the main character of this game is a girl. Now, now, customization doesn't matter. Like, we don't have to go for it canonically, so I'm just... Uh... Yeah. Yeah, that's... Uh, that, yeah, that, that works. That works. So, obviously I'm... Hey, you! Yeah, you! You wanna, you wanna be the freshest squid on the block? We'll teach you some funky fresh moves on the way to Inkopolis. Oh, 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 I for, I for, oh, I forgot they, they, they make you do motion controls on, uh, the, by default. Uh, yeah, here's a fun fact. I do not like the motion controls. Oh, I can't even use the stick. Ugh, ugh. Alright, so, alright, yeah, so here's a fun fact. I don't like motion controls too much. Like, I can see why the gyro controls in this game are, uh... Like, I can see why the gyro controls in this game... Like, I... What I'm trying to say is, I, I, can, get why, I can get why people uh, prefer using gyro controls for this game. But me, personally, uh, it, it just doesn't feel right. Especially for, like, a third-person shooter. Like, I'm used, like... I'm used to, uh... You know, I'm just gonna speed through this. Uh, yeah, I'm I'm used to. I'm I'm used to uh, what do you call it? Uh, using the the right stick to uh, what do you call it? Uh, look around and stuff like that, and aim. All right. There we go. Yeah, so, uh, so once, so once this, is this tutorial's over, I'm, I'm gonna have to, uh, what do you call it, change, change the settings, so I can use the stick, rather than, uh, so I can, you know, what do you call it, use the stick rather than the gyro controls. Ugh. Again, I can see why people prefer using it. Personally, personally, it doesn't, uh... Personally, I don't like it. So, yeah, there's that. Anyway, Nintendo! Ah, oh, man, it's been, a, it's been a while since, since I've seen this beautiful place. Man, quite... Uh, back when things were simple, huh? Now, of course, Splatoon 3 is actually really fucking good. Uh, like, I never had that... that like, here's the thing. I, I had the original Splatoon, but I didn't play it too often. Too often which is a disappointment. Uh, now I'm going to make sure to try and play Splatoon 3 a lot. Which is which I'm doing a decent job at that. Also, the, the old... Uh, the old idols... Uh, now, each Splatoon game, there's always a set of, like, a group of, like, Inklings or Octolings that, uh, that are, are like, quote-unquote idols that, uh, that tells you, hey, these are the stages you'll be battling on, stuff like that. Uh, in the first game, it was the Squid Sisters, Callie and, Mar and uh, Callie and Mari. Hold on to your technicals, it's Inkpo Inkopolis News Time. I cannot skip this, so yeah. They're gonna be talking about the stages, so, the regular current stages. Wow, Walleye Warehouse! 
Angel V games. Rank Battle. Kelp Dome. Museum de Alfonsino. I think that's in three, if I had to guess. Newsflash! Newsflash! What is it? What is it? And Goblin's Great Sapfish has vanished! Wait, seriously? If it isn't recovered soon, we're gonna lose power. Oh, I'm sure it'll be fine, probably. I wonder if... Um, I wonder if it has anything to do with that UFO crash. Sounds likely to me. Well, that's all for now. Until next time... Stay fresh! That... See, that was the Squid Sisters, uh... Little catchphrase there, uh... Stay fresh. Welcome to Agopolis. This is the plaza where all the freshest folk come to chill like krill. Most Inklings here are obsessed with the hottest spot... The hottest sport in Agopolis. Ink Battles. The crazy tall building in front of you is the Inkopolis Tower. It's the city's most famous landmark. There's a lobby on the first floor of the Inkopolis Tower for online battle. This is the Booyah Base, a shopping mall for all your Inkling needs. You can buy all kinds of fresh gear and weapons to use in battle. But check it, the staff in the shops can't be a snobby bunch. Yeah, that's true. They won't serve you if, you if they don't think you're fresh enough. Battle Dojo is on the second floor of that building over there. Check it out if you want if you want to battle your friends one on one or sh and sharpen your skills. You you might want to steer clear of that back alley. It smells a little fishy. And next we have huh? Who's that creep? Who's that creepy old dude? He seems like the type who who could get you mixed up in something dangerous. Whatever. Why don't you why don't you just head to the lobby in England in in Opolis Tower? That's where you can get your spine on. Uh how about well well first thing first, let's go to the options. Off. Ah, much much better. Uh yeah, so now here's the thing about the Wii U. I have no way of recording the gamepad. However, the thing about uh the thing about uh, Splatoon is that you don't really need the gamepad. Well like you don't really need I don't really need to record a gamepad footage because everything you, all the action will be on the TV screen. The uh, gamepad, the gamepad is where the map will be for the most part. So, so you won't be seeing the map, but that's that's fine. And let's see, everything else seems seems to look fine. Uh, yeah. Let's see. Yep. I. I don't think I don't think you can hear the uh, gamepad, unfortunately. So, that's a, uh, that's a bit. Unfortunate, but maybe, maybe it's not. Also, one thing I need to get used to, X for jump. I'm used to B for jump in uh, Splatoon 3. Uh, uh, anyways, we're going to be ignoring... We're going to be ignoring the, uh, the disembodied voice in our head. And just head straight to the old man. He seems like fun. The Octarians are coming! No! Oh, uh, hi, I guess I lost my cool for a minute there. I'm Captain Cuttlefish, leader of the legendary Squid Beak Platoon. That look in your eye. It's the look I've been looking for. The great savage that, pow that powers Inkopolis has has been squidnapped. Nobody believes me, but it's it's the work of the Octarians. I just knew it. They want, they want revenge for the Great Turf War of 100 years ago. I've been keeping an eye on them, and this whole time, of course. But they stole the Great Zapfish right out, right out from under my nose. Please, you gotta help me rescue the Great Zapfish. So, I'm gonna take your silence as a yes. Starting today, you are Agent 3 of the new Squid Beak Platoon. This is your brand new hero suit. It, it'll help you fight fight the Octarians. What a great fit. Mm, for, for a hand me down from Agent 1 and 2. Now let's go let's go get those oct Octo Jerks. I'm counting on you, Bucko. Shoot Ink C C R to reveal the entrances of the Octarian Lair. Alright, so yep, so here's so here's the story mode. Uh before doing this, I hopped into my save file, because this is of course on a different account. Uh, my sister's account because uh, yeah, because I did not feel like creating another account, and I and I had a gut feeling that my sister 
never played this game, which has to be true. Uh, but yeah, I looked at my uh, personal account to see how far I got in the game, because I thought I didn't get that far. Yeah, apparently I got to the final boss and never beat him. Beating him. So, uh, yeah, there's that. Anyway, so the revealed locations, you have to spray it like this. Uh, now, I will, I will not be going for all the, uh, sunken scrolls. If I see them and get them, great. If not, I'm not gonna worry about it too much. Anyway, uh, well, here we are at, well, here we are at the actual game. Also, look at these Octarians. Very... They're funny looking fellas. Yeah, so these are just basic, your basic old levels. Yeah, I'm I'm so used to the uh, to the story mode levels in uh, in what do you call it? Splatoon three, where uh, where you have a limited amount of tries. For Whereas, like, this one, if you die a bunch, you just have infinite tries. Or at least I'm pretty sure. Oh. Where am I? Where am I? This guy doesn't have a clue. Oop. Like, I can just pop up, shoot him, disappear, and he, he will lose track of me instantly. Uh, one of my favorite things to do in video games is just to mess with the AI, because AI. Some, hey, something's messing with the AI is really funny. Oh, there. Oh, there he is. And that guy's too concerned about bombs that he turned himself around. What a moron! I throw a bomb there. Dealt with that guy. This guy right here, you don't have to worry about too much. And just like that, he's dead. Yeah, so this is a... As you, can, as you guys can easily tell, this is a beginner level. Hmm. Let's see, I'm sure I can do this a cheesy way. Yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah I forgot they run away uh, from the bombs. Uh, and then they and then they just uh, explode like that. Yeah, so you know, not, nothing too difficult right now. Things could get difficult in in the probably in the later levels because I'll be honest, it's been a while since I remotely touched this game, so I do not even remember. I don't even remember any of the levels of this game, which which makes for a perfect let's play because I'll probably get surprised again on this. Uh, so okay, so right here we have a we have a little thing that we need a key for. Wow, uh, dude took it like a champ, huh? Well, see, the rest of you guys are coward. Hey, 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 no, hey, no, no, clean up my, my green ink. Ugh, the nerve of these guys. Also, I just realized the color, uh, the color ink in, in this level is green and purple, which, which is my two favorite colors. All right, and here's the hmm, my key. Look for a key. Look, look for the key. Uh, I think I. Well, that's the sap fish right there. Actually, can I still do the? Uh, nope. All right, so all right, so that's something good enough. Cause in Splatoon 3, uh, those shield guys, you just shoot shoot the shield enough, shoot the shield enough, it'll break. But it seems like in this one, you actually have to uh, distract them with a bomb. Which uh, makes which makes a lot of sense. Yep, there it is. It had to be in one of those boxes. Oh, there we. Oh, oh, hello, cat. Hello, uh, big man. I do not know what they're called, big man. Also, I I unironically said big man, which is the uh, which is the uh, the manta ray guy from uh, 
from Splatoon 3. Anyway. And hey, that's the first level done. Easy, easy peasy. Nothing to worry about. No problem mode. All right, I'm just gonna adjust some some uh, windows here. There we go. Just just so I can see the uh, the time a bit better. Uh, since you know capture card shenanigans and all that, I'm focusing on the TV rather than the TV, rather than my computer screen because of uh, in input delay uh, on the computer screen. Anyway, uh, oh look, here's oh. Let's see, which level are you? Oh, you are number two. And this one right here. Oh, I need more sapfish. So that so that's the boss level. Good to know. Alright then. Let's just let's just hop in here. So uh so anyway, this is let's play 13, I would probably want to say. Let's see. Pac-Man Pac -Man World Repack was uh was eleven. World Rally was 10, Warrior World was 12. Yeah, this is, uh, Let's Play 13. Uh, re well, regardless of what Let's Play it is, the Let's, uh, Splatoon wasn't intended to be, uh, uh, the Let's, uh, Let's Play, uh, whatever number this is. It was originally gonna be Beatopia. Uh, the reason, now the reason as to why Beatopia ended up getting canned, uh, the game was too long. I mean, like, that's kinda expected for RPG, like, and like here's the thing, I would have totally continued on with it, even though I'm like a decent chunk into the game. Uh, like I just don't think I have to fear uh, the fear. Sh I don't have to fear shift to to, to to be able to remotely uh, get away with doing like a super long uh, game as uh, such as uh, Metopia. But nothing wrong with the game, just there, the game was just very long. And then I'm also I also want to. I also wasn't really proud of my uh, commentary. I, w I wasn't really proud of the, uh, what do you call it? My commentary. It was mostly reaction based because of all the uh, wacky stuff that happens in Utopia. Oh god, my eye, my, my eye is bothering me. Oh, I hate, hate it when that happens. Uh, anyways. Uh, so those rolly guys, uh, yeah, you just have to trap them in your ink. Oh, these guys. You can't kill these guys. They were, they were a nuisance. Just, uh, just distract, just lure them away, uh, one bit and they'll be good. Also, do not, do, well, I was about to say, do not go into the ink form, uh, however, there's a sunken scroll here. Like I said, not gonna go. I'm not gonna go on my way to collect all of them because I have no idea where all of them are, and I don't feel like uh, uh, tearing my hair out to find find them all. But yeah, so a bunch of reasons why Metopia got canned, and I was like, you know what? So I think was originally supposed to be the next Let's Play after Metopia, so I'll just push that up. So, and here we are. And from and from and from what I looked up, uh, this game's only like oh, this game's only like five hours. Not not a very long game. Anyway, we got armor now. Why my beard is armor? So armor is very useful. Uh, it allows you to tank a uh, tank ahead. Who is uh? Like, like, put it this way, like, if you fuck up, like, normally you can take about, like, three or four hits before you die. Uh, if you screw up, you can, uh, uh with armor, you, you don't have to worry about, uh... Alright, how, how am I gonna hit those things right here? Alrighty, and then, uh... There we go. Uh, anything right there I should check? Nope. Just just a few uh, uh, salmon eggs there. I think, or like, no, actually they're called power eggs. I think salmon eggs are the uh, things you collect in uh, in uh, Salmon Run, which isn't in this game, but in the sequel, as well as uh, three.
Another thing I noticed between uh, the levels in uh, Splatoon 3 and uh, this game, the ones in this game is probably are a lot longer. Anyway, that, that's just a little thought I have. I probably won't. I might. I might. I might not stop talking about. Uh, I probably won't. Oh. Ooh. Oh, look at these guys. Alright then. Oh no, he's bastard sucking up all me ink. All right, there we go. There we go. And just like that, the second sap fish is R. But yeah, and oh yeah, going back to what I was talking about earlier. Uh, yeah, this this game compared to Metopia, which is like, however long, however long of a game. Uh, this game is. This game is only like five. Like, if I'm not going for all the collectibles, which is what I'm doing, I'm, I'm just going for just beating the game. This game is only uh, five hours long. And like I said, when I went to my to my old save file from back in the day, when I uh, had a Wii U and the game, yeah, five hours uh, makes sense considering I was able to get to the final balls and I've yet to beat him. Which begs the question, did I just had trouble with the balls or did I just... Or did I just never bother uh, completing the, uh, the, uh, or did I just never bother beating the balls? Anyways... Anyway... Probably... Uh, this level has one of my favorite, uh, uh, music for, uh, for the story modes. So that's, so that's a plus. Speaking of music, this game is, the soundtracks for all three games are honestly pretty good. Ooh, the ink suit got him. Look at these guys. They don't know where I am. Here I am. There we go. Yeah. So sometimes, sometimes in these levels, you can get uh, get these little tuna cans that have uh, your specials. So in that case, he had the Inksuka. I think I think that's what it's called. I'm going off of the name that was in fucking uh, three. Oh yeah, one thing I'd probably say, another thing I'd probably say about this game, uh, the, uh, the Octarians are, are funny looking guys. Easy, some of my favorite enemies. Oh, he couldn't get away. <laughs> you know what, A for effort. <laughs> A for effort. Anyway, we have these little zip lines. I, I, I forget what these, I forget what these are called, but, but yeah. So, essentially, you just go to ink form and, uh, you just kind of zip across here. Oh, that this guy. So this big man uh, likes to spit out bombs. Oh, the, I think I, I think they're called normally they're called ink bombs. I like to call them ink dates. Oh, he's scared. Oh, and, and we got the ink suka again. So uh, there we go. There we go. Yeah, he was the only uh, real threat there. There we go. And we have all. Th and we got the. Uh, 
Uh, World well, 1's almost done already, and it's the first episode. <laughs> Oh my god, we can probably also fight the boss as well. The mighty Octostop. Yeah, but let's, I mean, let's, we might as well fight the boss. There's only, like, we have the time, I have the time to do it, so yeah, let's, let's just go ahead and fight the boss. Shouldn't be that bad. Oh, they want me to move forward. Okay. No, not the sad fish. <laughs> Hello. Hello, mate. Yep, so this guy's very simple. So, uh, just, 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 uh, just spray the side of him, climb up. Yep, uh, just, just bait him, just bait him into, uh, to falling down like a moron. Climb up him, and then, and then shoot, shoot out his tentacle that he left open. Uh, yep, yep, pretty, pretty easy boss. Yeah, fall down like, like a moron you are. Yep, yep. Yeah, each base has kind of removed uh, a chunk. So anyway, uh, he lost, there we go. Another limb, uh, another limb loss for this guy. Yep, and now, and now, it's, oh, and there we go, there's the difficulty. Over here, mate. Uh-oh. He baited me. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Oh, okay. There is limited tries for each stage. Did they see the, uh, the little thing? Come on, get off. There we go. Very easy fight. He just he he just caught he just caught me uh he just caught me uh for that first death. And, oh and it gives you the second skull. I forgot about that. Anyway, let's just grab the sap fish. Wow, that, that is the first area already done. <laughs> Funny how that works. Avast, Avast, the great... They have the great oct octa weapons on their sides. At any rate, good work, good work, Agent 3. Keep it up. It's a long, it's a long road to get to the great sapfish. And, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, Oh, cool. We call the uh, we, we I think. Oh, cool. We call it. We call the power surge. Uh, love how that happens, huh? Anyway, we can move on to the next area. Anyway, quite quite a bigger area. If I had to save some myself. Up oh, and I fell off. By <laughs> Whoops. Uh. Anyways. That is going to be it for today's episode. Uh, if you guys enjoyed uh, what you, if you guys enjoyed what you see, uh, please consider subscribing because I would really appreciate it. Uh, by subscribing, you'll help my channel grow, which is something I always would want. Uh, I also, I also hope if you guys uh, like the, like this video or comment, so uh, this video can get pushed by the YouTube algorithm. Uh, with that being said, I hope you guys have a nice day, night, afternoon, wherever you are in the world, and I'll see you guys in the next episode where I guess we'll be saving some more sapfish. Uh, with that being said, later, bye-bye.